Well, how's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of TRF Today. We are in Minnesota still, making some awesome content out here with my buddy Jack, a subscriber, follower of mine, fishes up here from Bemidji State. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of, I don't even know what I'm gonna exactly title this episode, it's gonna be smallmouth craziness for sure. But I did break my Sony camera, so no epic B-roll today. But we're just gonna catch some fish. I know a lot of you guys just wanna see fish catches anyway. So we're gonna catch a big old smallmouth on some pretty crazy techniques for uh, a river like this. No thin fluorocarbon, nothing like that. And uh, of course we're gonna teach you guys a thing or two as well so we'll see y'all when we get some fish yeah yep you got him oh yeah baby oh yeah oh that's insane oh man oh that's awesome that is so cool just get in the boat I'm not gonna let you fight yes Oh, holy smokes, that was crazy. <sighs> My first Mississippi River frogfish. <laughs> the fish should not do this, man. They shouldn't eat a frog. Smallmouth bass should not eat a frog. Oh, but that was cool. That's what this video is all about, folks. Some crazy fish eating in a way they're not supposed to. Don't worry folks, all fish will be released at the end of the day. Just getting a good picture. Leave it. Oh, you stinker. Get him. Get him, Jack. Well, boys and girls, we are uh, we are fishing some crazy stuff today. You'll be able to see in this video, we're throwing frogs in a very, very fast river. I mean, like I haven't, you know, touched the big engine yet. We're just drifting down this thing. Really going for some crazy, big, aggressive fish. Subscribe if you like it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. Oh, that was so cool. I watched him eat it. Oh my gosh. He did a little circle around it. Oh, that was my own fault. Oh gosh. Also that hook set was janky. I had like three feet of slack. Got him. Hey-ho. <laughs> I thought he was coming to the boat. I really did. He wanted to. <laughs> oh, got him. Got him. Yes! On the mag draft. Bring it in. Yes! Heck yeah. Swim bait smallie. There was a little one. Oh, come on. See, I now feel for the MLF guys that have to do this to every fish. <laughs> That's gotta be hard. Look at that. On the swim bait. Little guy, not quite big enough to put in the well for a picture, but we appreciate your willingness to eat. It's a better one. Oh, yes. Good one. Good one. Dude, get him in the boat. On the fluke? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to lip or just flip him in? I'm flipping him. Get in, the boat. Get in the boat. Yes! Dude, that's huge! That's a river grown one. That's a grown one for this river. Dude. <laughs> Look at that. that fluke. That's a big one. He ate Chomping it. On. Heck yeah, dude. They're eating the shad stuff right now on this bank. Stick him in the well. That's a good one. Alright, one more fish on the frog and I'm whipping out the fly. Something I've always wanted to do. Whip out the fly rod for a smallie. He missed it. Oh no, he didn't. He's got it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> that thing jumped three feet out of the water. Fly river small the best. Holy crap. Yes! Oh, this is so much fun. Oh no, no, you're staying in the boat, buddy. Got him, yes. Okay. You got three good ones. Yeah, we do. All right, it is time for my sweet tea. Mmm. Crack open a cold one for, for Mr. Palmer. So what we're gonna do right now, boys and girls, is uh, we're gonna get the fly rod out. This here is my little 
$200 fly setup I bought for trout. If you guys have not seen my trout series, click up here in this corner. I will have it linked. But I've always wanted to catch a smallie on the fly. So that's what we're going to do. I have a feeling that massive disappointment is about to come my way. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose all the flies that I paid $37 for. But you know what? All for the good of the smallmouth. And a lot of people are like, oh, I don't care how I catch them. I kind of care how I catch them. I want to do it in a challenging way. That's why I'm throwing a frog for smallies. That's why I'm fishing for muskie. I want to catch those hard ones. And if you came for fly fishing tips, I'm sorry, you came to the wrong channel because I don't know anything. I'm just here for a good time. Hey, I wasn't half bad. Oh gosh, no way, no way, no way, no way. Got him, got him, yes, get in the boat. I can't, I can't. No, I can't grab the line, there we go. Dude, a much bigger one was following it before this guy ate it. Bring it in, bring it in. Yes, my first smallmouth on the fly. Let's go, baby. Oh, he ate it, he joked it. Look at that. First smallie on the fly. Heck to the yeah. Dude, about a four pounder was right behind it and didn't eat it and this guy came out of nowhere. I got one on the fly. Yes. So it's about 12.20. We have four nice fish in the live well. Jack caught another good one. But I did want to take a second to talk about how we're catching them. I will make a separate instructional video um, probably before we leave here this afternoon that will probably come after this video does. But uh, we're basically fishing, you know, the, the outside swing banks here in this river. Uh, these smallmouth love to sit in the little, you know, undercut areas. And in some instances, the smallies are sitting a little bit farther off the bank if they have any sort of cover or rocks or whatever to hide behind. But right here, these fish are looking up at the bank, looking up at the frogs, the crickets, whatever hops in the water, and they are nailing it within like, you know, two pops of your rod tip. So you want to get as close as you can to the bank. That's why fly fishing was hard for me because I, at the beginning, had trouble getting it close to the bank. But we've been drifting for a while, haven't even touched the big motor yet, just kind of drifting down the river and uh, hope you're enjoying it, catching some big ones. Someone told me they had fish dying on those. And I was like, fish dying because of a cold tag? Gosh. Gosh. No. There we go. Gosh. Yes. Holy cow. Holy smokes. Oh my God. He's bleeding a little bit. Woo. That's called heavy cover fishing right there, folks. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Look at how he ate the frog. <laughs> it is gone. It is absolutely gone. Got him? Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> Look at that, folks. Big ends. Absolute giants. That was a crazy fight. And that right there, boys and girls, is why you need 65 pound braided line in this scenario, because I had him hung over a stick and I just winched his booty right over that stick. Oh, that'll get it, that should get your blood pumping. Little guy, oh, or not a little guy. Big one? Yeah, that's a nice one. Dude, <laughs> that's a good one too. <laughs> Holy crap, this is why you come to Minnesota, folks. Get him, son. On the Outcast Tackle Juice Jig. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. That's incredible. We're smoking them. Smoking them. They just put the boat up against it and flip it. Oh, dig it. Get him over, get him over. <laughs> Holy cow, holy cow. That's insane. <laughs> Dude, that was a, oh my God. That was absolute, as he was saying like, oh, that's the type of stuff those guys flip. And that right there, 50 pound or whatever it is, 65? 
Yeah, 65 pound braid is necessity there. Does it really? Doesn't look too bad right here. Gosh. <laughs> and you're in the boat. Oh, it was a slight touch. Official. Yeah, to sit down for that one. That'll be a two minute penalty there. I straight up jacked his jaw. It's a jaw jacker right there. If you guys are curious what gear I'm throwing, I'm throwing the, uh, the Pro TI. I believe it's a seven, seven, five to one. Out here, gear ratio is very important because current is fast, the fish are angry, and so you have to be able to winch both to get more presentations in, you have to be able to winch your bait in and get the next cast in, but also to catch these fish, you have to have a fast gear ratio. Uh, then I have some 65 pound Seaguar Smackdown braid in stealth gray. I've got a little poppin' perch, which honestly I, I might, well, I'm catching plenty on it. So usually I would cut the cut the tail shorter, but these fish are eating it just as good. So I've got the 7.3 custom speed stick by Lou's, the uh, football jig rod, which actually works pretty well for casting frogs around. Shall I cover? And also got the Jason Christie uh, hoodie shirt on. It's got the hoodie and the buff thing. I might look like a doofus, but at least I'm not getting sunburned like you fools wearing short sleeve shirts. Your, your mother would be disappointed. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know if you had it or not. No, you weren't wrong. Gosh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. It's a little bigger than that. <sighs> little small mouth. The small frog. Small mouth, big attitude. They got a very big attitude. Look at that. Look how he ate it. Top of the mouth. I mean, that's how you. That's how you ask for. Gosh! Oh my gracious! Get out the tree! Get out the tree! Okay. Yes, baby. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah. Made sense to me why there'd be one in there. <laughs> it's in his mouth. It's in his mouth. A little bit of a frog tip here in the river for you guys that, you know, when you're fishing for fish that are this fixated on the bank, you'll, you've seen it probably many times throughout the video. It's not worth it to work your frog all the way back to the boat because they're not gonna follow your bait all the way to the boat. So it's really only the first three to four feet that you work your frog and you burn it in. Get another cast up there. Work it for about, you know, three feet or so. Reel it back in. Rinse and repeat. Biggin, biggin dude, biggin. Holy cow, he's big. Oh, I got him side hooked. Oh, of course I do. And I got him on a stick. I got him, he's still big though. But I've got him side hooked. I don't want to boat for them if I got him side hooked. I'm gonna tear a hole in his belly. Sorry, buddy. You're big though. Oh gosh. Oh, wow. Oops, sorry, bud. He does. All right, well, well, it's a big one. <laughs> we'll see about him. Yeah, I know. Oh, he missed it. Dang it. Get a cast in there. That was weird. Got him? Oh, there he is. Is he good? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's go. I had just missed him on a frog. I had just missed that fish. And I was like, dude, flip in there. <laughs> yes. Let's go. I don't know which one that calls. I'll let you decide. Well, everybody, we are back here at the ramp. That was a fun day. Was that fun? Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was a good time. Thanks to Jack for taking me out here 
he's a, a good, not only a good buddy, but also a good river guide. So we may need him, <laughs> we may need him out here for Monsters Minnesota season two. And if you guys enjoyed, of course, please subscribe to the channel. I would not be able to do what I do without uh, you guys subscribing. Also hit the notification bell because subscriptions don't really mean much anymore, but I'd love to have you guys as part of the team. Again, as I mentioned, all the gear uh, that I fished with today, including my clothes, all that stuff will be linked in the description below. And man, I'm having fun. I've got one more week here in Minnesota, so probably five or six more videos, and uh, it'll be a good time. We'll see y'all in the next episode of TRF. Oh god, I'm digging. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh no. You were gonna have trouble getting him over that log. Oh yeah, oh, yeah definitely. How big is that? That was that was over four. Yeah, that was definitely over oh, four. Oh man. That was probably one of our biggest fish of the day. Dang it.